So that's a, that's a great question. And the why that we enjoy doing what we're doing and, and why we wake up every morning and come in and have a passion to do what we do is, is basically to help our clients be successful with technology. We want their business to be successful by leveraging technology. And that doesn't mean sell them the latest, greatest technology that exists. That means get a real good understanding of what their business functions like, how they communicate internally, what processes they have. And you know, we've always had that going back, we're 23 years now. We've always had that as one of our focuses that we wanna look at the productivity of the organization. How do we help them become more efficient by leveraging technology? And the only way to really be able to do that is by going through the process through the digital maturity group. And up until that point, we didn't really have a way. We had an idea of this is what we want to do for our clients. And I think the passion exists that our clients hire us to help them, but it's not to sell them a solution. It's to help them. And that's ultimately our goal. How we judge our success is, first of all, how long do we have relationships with our clients for? And have they grown? And have we been able to help them grow? And whenever there's new technology and we talk to them about it, it's not just, oh, you should get this new technology. It's let's review how you're using the information right now internally, how it's flowing, what's available, and then decide whether this is going to really help you. And so we take a more consultative, approach to working with our clients it's not what can we sell you today it's can we help them make a difference in their organization that's the passion that we have and that's ultimately what we owe our clients when they hire us we owe them everything that we can so that they can be as successful as possible leveraging technology and we are there to help them uncover the right way to identify what is needed and then how to get it implemented in a proper manner.